my channel. I am Honey Plants, and today I am going to do a plant chore that I've put off for quite a while. Um, so what I need to be doing today is repotting this anthurium hookerai, and I'll try to angle the camera down so you can see this plant. All right, so this plant is in very poor condition right now because uh, the dog's tails have been hitting it. Um, and I, I did already take it out of the pot that it was in. It was in a terracotta pot. Um, and so if you know anything about anthuriums, and this is an anthurium, a bird's nest anthurium, um, they have very vigorous roots. So I had to do a lot of muscling to get this plant out of the pot. Um, and it's now sitting in this new pot, but what I'm gonna do is take it out so that I can remove some of the old soil. And then I have my container of new soil here on the side that I'm going to um, put in this pot and hopefully bring this plant back to thriving condition. Um, so I also think I'm going to let this plant stay outside until uh, it's cool outside and then bring it back inside so the dog's tails won't have access to it uh, and when I bring it back in I will put it in a different spot so let me try to get the camera um, such that you can see so here we go um, when we take it out you can see the roots um, let me set it here and try to bring you a little closer so you can see the, the condition of the roots you know they're very healthy from what I can tell let me see here and um, they are not rotten or anything like that um well i take that back there's a few on here that are going to need to be pulled off so what i'm going to do i have my potting uh, mat here so i'm just going to go ahead and work my fingers in here and remove the dead roots uh and some of the old soil so that this plant can be healthier. It has some roots that are very healthy, I can tell. And um, when I first got this plant, you would not believe it was in, um, I think like a six inch pot. And um, I got it from my local nursery. I had no idea what this plant was called or anything. And I'm still not sure. I'm thinking it's hookerai because that's what it looks like um, when I look at the different hookerais online. So um, that's what I think it is. Some of the soil that's down in the middle seems like it, it's good soil, really. And these roots, look at these roots. They're so healthy. Um, so at any rate, some of these top roots, though, were not um, not in the best condition. I've seen these anthuriums in nurseries, and this this part right here is a root part of the root structure, and I've seen it go up feet in the air. That's just how they grow. And uh, so, anyway, when I first got this plant. It was pushing out of its pot and I took it out of the pot and I scored the roots with a utility knife so that uh, it would help the plant to move out into the pot. Oh, my tea just knocked over. <clears throat> so, It hasn't 
turned back since then. It has been very healthy and doing its thing. So I think that you know, it always tries to put out new leaves. It does put new leaves out, but it just, they always get pulled off because, or or um, ripped because of the dog's tails. So, yeah, these are healthy, healthy roots. And I think just this little root massage, maybe this will help this plant to rejuvenate. And also when I take it back outside, I will rinse these, these leaves off because they're dusty. All right, so there we go. It's a lot of soil coming out of the middle and a few broken off roots, but I think for the most part, this plant is, is healthy. And I think just like with any other thing that roots, you know, I think sometimes we get freaked out when we see dead roots, but um, Old roots are going to die and then new ones replace them. Like, for example, with orchids. Orchids get, uh, some of their roots are dry and whatever. And then they are constantly replacing them with new. So I don't think we should be um, freaked out when we see dead, leaf, dead uh, roots, dead leaves even. Sometimes it just happens. It's a cycle of life for plants. All right, so now let's see. I'm gonna hold this up so you can see. Look at all those roots. And you know, they're healthy, healthy white anthurium roots. I almost wish I had a clear pot that this could go in so I could see the roots, but I don't have one big enough. All right, so now I am going to get rid of all of the uh, the soil and the broken off roots and things like that. And when I come back, I will begin repotting this plant, putting it in its new home. So, all right, this is the pot that I'm going to be using for this plant. And I've had this pot around for a little while, for years really. And um, so it's just the right size. And I have my soil here in this container. And I'm gonna scoop some up. And so you can see, this is my basic mix that I use. It has perlite, it has orchid bark, uh, it has some worm castings, it has diatomaceous earth, and it also has some plant and seed uh, potting mix in here. Uh, and a few knuckle balls, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some big scoops of this. bring this up to the level yes perfect so and I wonder oh this one broke off so that answered my question I was getting ready to say maybe I should cut these off and just let the plant restart totally restart except for the big leaves um, so yeah all right so now all I have to do is backfill the plant. <clears throat> I feel like there's so many plant chores that I've been getting done. And, um, you know, in the comments, what 
Let me know what plant chores you're, you're working on or what you've been accomplishing this weekend. Yesterday, I felt like I um, got a lot of things done. Just small things, like uh, I had things in my propagation uh, containers that had been there for forever, and I potted several of those up. And um, it just kind of gives you a sense of accomplishment when you can get those things done and then you have then you have space to more room to propagate other stuff, right? That's what us plant ladies do. Okay, so this is going to be a nice refresh for this plant. me I'm going back to work in one week so it's good for me to have this time to get some things done that I need to do because when work starts up again I probably will have to put some things on the back burner although this is a great stress reliever and it's a good hobby for teachers and other people that have jobs that are stressful. Um, it's a wonderful outlet. Oh, yes. I'm going to have to make some more soil mix after I finish this because this is taking a whole lot of it. think I'm pressing it down in there because I don't want it to have any open pockets in there. Oh, there's a root sticking up right there. Alrighty. So, I did see um, I'm getting more into anthuriums. I don't have, I have two of the velvety type anthuriums and I have this one bird's nest anthurium and I have one of the flowering anthuriums that you can find like at Lowe's. And I saw, I was looking at uh, Plant and Style with Peachy and she was showing uh, in fact, this is, I thought it was an anthurium, but it, it actually is a philodendron. It was a philodendron varicosum red sunset or something like that. And that plant, that's on my wish list right now. Also, I saw, this is terrible, but um, not like I didn't just get a whole bunch of new plants, but I saw this person had a um, anthurium hookeri red variegated, I think that's what it's called. And it is, that plant is beautiful. So I, I think it's kind of pricey from what I could see when I looked it up, but that's another one that's now on my wish list. It's like the more plants when you read and you watch YouTube and stuff like that, it um, exposes you to all the beautiful plants that are out there. All right, anyway, this plant is finished. Okay, everyone, this is a better view of what I did to this um, anthurium hookeri. And I'm going to take it outside and give it some water. Thank you for joining me on this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please leave comments for me and um, let me know what plant chores you're working on. And hopefully I'll see you around on the next one. Bye.